wow, the main road in my neighborhood is very busy today. I guess they're starting the populist movement. Oh gosh, it's called AP US history studying. You know, it's gonna be a busy week, but I feel optimistic and I still wanna get out here and enjoy this beautiful weather. weather. Excuse me. All right, so anyway, a few blocks ago, I noticed a car and it was from Alaska. So I love looking at license plates. And this one was from Alaska. I've never seen Alaska. And that is really cool. But I noticed as their little catchy phrase on it, they said, the last frontier. Now, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a beautiful phrase and all. I'm glad you think you're the end all of all. Wow, Alaska. But, don't you think that kind of limits us? I mean, think of all the other territories that we have. Like Guam. Guam is beautiful. I love Guam in the summertime. <sighs> Never been there, but I'm sure it's nice. But think about it like this. Now, I don't know if you're pro-expansion or not. If you're the Team Lodge, Henry Cabot Lodge, or if you're the Roosevelt. <laughs> but I feel as though, I don't know, seeing our, where that Alaska's the last frontier, it's, you can't put that as your statement. I don't know, it's kind of limiting. It's also not the catchiest of things. Cause it's kind of, one second, it's kind of taking away from the beauty of Star Trek. I mean, if any of you have ever heard the opening theme song, space, the final frontier. These are the missions of the Starship Enterprise to reach new boundaries and go where no man has gone before. Oh, it's great. Haven't watched it in a while. I'm sorry. I'm a little rusty right now with my theme song of Star Trek, but it is beautiful. Oh, oh, it's great. Love it. Anyway, they call space the final frontier. Now, do you want your final frontier to be space or Alaska? I mean, come on. And this is relevant to the AP test. I mean, look at all this content that we memorize to get that grade. But how are we gonna use it in our real lives? You know, am I seeing a car with an Alaskan life license plate? Ho ho ho, I wonder if they drove here from Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be pretty funny if they did. But anyway, <laughs> it's using the knowledge that you get from the classroom and helping you learn so much more. Amazing! I mean, what if everything from school is like this? It would be pretty cool. I mean, I think it, I think it is, but I mean, it's just a matter of how we use it. So I invite you to see a real world application to what you spend so much time on. I mean, think of how much time we spend in school throughout our entire childhoods. I mean, at this point, we've probably been at school more often than we've slept, if we're being completely honest. <laughs> so enjoy the time that you have. Make something of it. I mean, not everything you're gonna care about. Sometimes it's just, the idea of learning this content and how we approach it. But I invite you to look around the world, even outside of the classroom, and see what you can learn. Now, I don't mean to be some hokey PBS channel, like advertisement of like, discover Masterpiece Scholastic today. It's like, oh my gosh. Downton Abbey. No, <laughs> but think of it as a chance to learn something new. Look around the world. It's not always going to be that next level. What if the challenge that we're at right now is not looking towards that score, 
or that college. Current distance one mile. Oh, one mile. Duration, nine minutes, seconds. Or pace, that nine job. Minutes, seconds, or that mile. husband or wife or whatever. I mean, I don't know if you're planning that now. It's a little weird. You know, just tracking a random guy from Finland and like, oh my gosh, an arranged marriage. I don't know. Maybe you do. I'm not judging. But still, think about what the challenge today is. For me, that challenge right now, I don't know, maybe perfecting this messy bun. I mean, after the momentum and the uh, constant movement of a jog, I mean, it's literally a jog, it's hard to stay put. Maybe it's not supposed to, but how can we? All right, these are the life-bending questions of Nancy Bound. Also, this morning, I woke up freaking out. Well, for many reasons, because I mean, huh, life, but still. I had this nightmare that I accidentally drank a bottle of rubbing alcohol, like isopropyl. I mean, of course we're doing a lab right now that dealt with that, but still, I woke up freaking out thinking and pl plotting. I woke up plotting how I could call poison control, how I could spit it all up, how I could pump my own stomach to get rid of it before I died, of course. Then it took a good, good solid, Ten and a half seconds for me to ration out that unless I slept walk, which is terrifying, I don't even want to go there, but there was no bottle of rubbing alcohol in my bedroom and I did not change my sleep position, so I probably didn't drink it. Ooh, amazing! Challenge uncovered. It's amazing how real dreams can feel. And then some don't come true, which is good. I'm glad I did not drink rubbing alcohol. But still, what dreams in our dreams can we make true? This has been Nancy Bound. I almost said July. Oh gosh. May 7th. Start, star date. I don't know. I forget what that is from Star Trek. I need to watch some more Star Trek soon. It is a great show. I don't like it when people are all like, Star Wars or Star Trek. I'm like, there's no argument. You stop. They're both beautiful and we both need them in our society. It's like the difference between chocolate and vanilla ice cream. Stop it. They're both wonderful. And sometimes you get off the swirl. Although, it's kind of like saying, oh, <laughs> Guardians and Galaxy and Avengers, <laughs> let's make them into one movie. <laughs> Infinity War? Yeah, I haven't even seen that. So no spoilers, I promise, except that it was amazing. And apparently, I don't know, I don't know, apparently someone died and everyone was crying, but I don't know who it was. Probably wouldn't know, is it, who is it, Megamind? He's in that, right? I don't know. <laughs> That's a whole other topic for another day of how I feel about superheroes. But be your own superhero. You don't have to have a big ego and have to cause a lot of destruction to save the world by killing people, by saving people. What? Crazy. I don't know. I know it's really controversial to say. Especially some of my viewers are diehard superhero people. But I mean, you do you. Be your own superhero by the littlest of things. Like how to tie your shoelaces or, I don't know, look, smelling flowers, you know, flowers are nice. I like flowers. Look at these flowers right here. Spotlight to these flowers. Oh, can I turn the camera around? I haven't figured that out yet. Look at these nice flowers. All right, beautiful. <sighs> yep, I love flowers. They're really nice. How did we get to this? I, I don't know. I just randomly talk and just talk about flowers. But I, you know, the real credit to the dirt because they have to do all the dirty work. They preserve the flower, they nourish the flower, they save the flower from being eaten by squirrels. But then no one's like, oh my gosh, that dirt is blooming so well. I'm, it's my favorite time of year when that dirt blooms. And like the dirt is always around. Let's support the dirt. 
the hard work that, wow, that turned into a really beautiful analogy or extended metaphor. One of those rhetorical devices. <laughs> I mean, can we just praise the dirt, please? I mean, think of all this dirt has done for you. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, those are creepy. Those little sour gum balls. Awful. The dirt is what gets us through all year, all right? You know, it's great stuff. Soil, mulch, whatever you want to call it, dirt is where it's at. Especially, you know, even like those desserts when you're younger that had the gummy worms, but then they also had like, like the crumbled up Oreos or cookies and I was like, oh, worms and dirt. And like, I think there's ice cream. I don't know what the ice cream was. Like, was that sod or like bird poop? Oh gosh, that's just weird. Let's not go there. But still, that was a really good dessert. And everyone loved the dirt part because I mean, who wants to eat worms? I don't know, there were gummy worms that were pretty cool. I always, for my birthday in elementary school, I always, for my birthday, I want to bring in party cake, um, cupcakes. It was, no, 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 um, was it like, it was the multicolored cake mix, but as cupcakes with pink icing and gummy worms on top. <laughs> it made me so happy. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so creative. I love eating gummy worms on pink icing. Amazing. <laughs> wow, really shows my, de my personality. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how we got there. All right, but still, you don't know where a conversation's going to lead you, so just follow it or make it yourself. I don't know. Do you want to just be a follower or a leader? I don't. It's, I'm thinking too much into this. Pursue simplicity, in some ways, but then be complicated. I don't. I, where am I going with this? I don't know. <laughs> Pursue simplicity. That's that's something that uh, my uh, my history teacher telling me today with my dbqs Pers pursue simplicity nancy you're putting too many too much thought into this i'm like yep i i really am yeah thanks thanks tommy t <laughs> all right well i'm signing out now my star date catalog remember that that was like four minutes ago <laughs> all right <laughs> well the lawnmower stopped so i guess i should stop okay See you folks later. Hang in there. Be strong. But then also be able to admit when you feel weak and accept that. But then move forward and keep building yourself up. That was a nice, that was a nice way to conclude. Oh, you did it, Nancy. I did it. <laughs> and you can do it too.